Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Longevity. Let's talk about antioxidants. You probably heard that they're great for your health, but did you know that many people actually believe that all antioxidants could actually harm you by disrupting your body's natural balance? It's a common misconception, so let's clear it up. Some antioxidants can and do act as double agents. They help fight damage caused by harmful molecules called free radicals. But in certain situations, they can actually do the opposite and increase the damage. This makes people think that all antioxidants are risky and act the same way. But here's the thing. Not all antioxidants work this way. That's where astaxanthin comes in. Astaxanthin is different. It's what we call a pure antioxidant, meaning it only helps your body and never turns against it, even under stressful situations. So, while some antioxidants might upset the balance, astaxanthin works to maintain it. Unlike other antioxidants, astaxanthin stays on your side. It fights off the bad guys, the free radicals, without turning into one itself. This is why it's known as a superior antioxidant in the health world. Let's talk about carotenoids briefly, since astaxanthin is one of them. There are three classes of carotenoids. These are natural pigments found in plants, algae, and some animals, like flamingos, the pink. They give certain fruits and vegetables their bright colors. Think of the orange in carrots and the red in tomatoes. But carotenoids do more than just that color. They also play important roles in our health. As mentioned, carotenoids are grouped in three classes based on how they behave in the body. Each class tells us something about the antioxidant power and whether they might cause harm under certain conditions. Let's talk about the first class, class A. These are carotenoids without significant antioxidant properties. These carotenoids don't offer much antioxidant protection. They're present in nature, but don't play a big role in fighting free radicals in the body. Now let's get into class B carotenoids. These are good antioxidants, but also become pro-antioxidants. For example, some carotenoids like beta-carotene found in carrots or lycopene found in tomatoes are generally good antioxidants. However, under certain conditions, like when there's a lot of oxygen or at high concentrations, they can flip and start acting like pro-antioxidants. This means they can actually contribute to oxidative stress, which is harmful to our bodies and our cells. And then we have the gold standard, class C carotenoids, like astaxanthin. These carotenoids are powerful antioxidants that never turn into pro-antioxidants, no matter the condition. This makes astaxanthin a pure antioxidant. It always protects your cell without causing harm. So, in a nutshell, not all carotenoids are the same. While some can be both helpful and harmful, like those in class B, astaxanthin is in a class of its own, class C, providing strong and reliable protection at all times. So, why is astaxanthin so special? I already mentioned that it is a pure antioxidant and never turns against your body. But another special thing about it, it protects your cells on the inside and the outside, and this is where astaxanthin really stands out from other antioxidants. Most antioxidants only work in one area, either the outside or the inside of the cell, but astaxanthin can cross the cell membranes and protect every single part of the cell. Think of it like an all-in-one bodyguard that keeps every angle covered. The next thing astaxanthin is proven for is it is a powerful anti-inflammatory. Studies have shown that astaxanthin helps reduce inflammation by blocking a key pathway, NF-kappa B, that normally triggers the body's inflammatory response when under stress. This unique action prevents the activation of certain genes that would otherwise produce inflammatory signals like IL-1B, IL-6, IL-8, and TNFA, which are often involved in conditions that cause chronic inflammation. This makes astaxanthin a versatile anti-inflammatory compound. So what exactly are the proven benefits of astaxanthin in human studies? Number one, it is excellent for athletic performance. That's one of the reasons why I take it. This new systematic review on the screen and meta-analysis found that astaxanthin supplementation in humans 
particularly athletes, offers numerous benefits. Studies demonstrated improved physical performance. Additionally, astaxanthin was shown to significantly increase total antioxidant capacity, helping combat oxidative stress induced by high-intensity exercise. This is why I love this supplement. Another thing, astaxanthin also contributed to overall muscle recovery and reduced oxidative damage, supporting endurance and exercise recovery. You heal faster. But I'm not done. Astaxanthin's potential mitochondrial support mechanisms suggest a role in energy metabolism regulation, potentially aiding muscle function and reduced exercise-induced inflammation. The next proven benefit in humans is that it helps use fat as fuel when exercising. Check out this new systematic review and meta-analysis, which evaluated the benefits of astaxanthin supplementation on fatigue, cognition, and exercise efficiency. The systematic review analyzed data from 11 randomized control trials with 346 healthy participants. The results revealed that astaxanthin supplementation showed a positive trend in relieving subjective fatigue. In other words, when you feel tired, it relieved it. It also showed significant improvements in physical performance and fat oxidation when astaxanthin was combined with training. This is what I do. In other words, it helps your body use fat as fuel when training. It burns the fat off your body. It helps with this. In yet another new systematic review and meta-analysis, it examined the impact of antioxidant lipid supplements like astaxanthin on cardiovascular health indicators. The results indicated that astaxanthin in particular lowered LDL cholesterol and raised HDL cholesterol. Additionally, it significantly reduced triglycerides and fasting insulin levels, highlighting its potential for supporting liver management and glycemic control. The next benefit is even incredible. Astaxanthin can reduce visceral fat and increase adiponectin. A randomized placebo control trial conducted on patients with type 2 diabetes demonstrated that eight weeks of astaxanthin 8 milligrams a day significantly increased adiponectin levels. This increase in adiponectin was associated with reduced visceral body fat mass, improved lipid profile, and better glycemic control. For those who do not know what adiponectin is, it's an important protein that plays crucial roles in several metabolic processes, such as insulin sensitivity, glucose regulation, lipid metabolism, anti-inflammatory effects, neuroprotection, and much more. Now let's talk about astaxanthin and longevity. Current research suggests that astaxanthin may help slow aging and support a longer life by reducing inflammation and balancing oxidative stress. Although most studies focus on diseases associated with aging rather than directly on lifespan, astaxanthin shows promise as a general protector, which is a substance that may delay aging effects. Over the past decade or so, scientists have identified chronic low-level inflammation and oxidative stress as key factors in age-related diseases. Astaxanthin may help by interacting with these processes at the cellular level. Its benefits include improving brain health, reducing stress on cells, supporting healthy gene expression, and even promoting the growth of new brain cells. The following are the longevity genes astaxanthin has been shown to stimulate. AMPK, CERT1, PGC1A, CLOTHO, FOXO3, and NRF2. While more research is needed to confirm these effects, astaxanthin looks like a promising natural option for supporting healthy aging. Astaxanthin was recently tested by the Intervention Tester Program that investigates compounds and treatments that could potentially extend lifespan and improve health during aging. Their investigations showed promising results in extending the lifespan of male mice, specifically, and increased the average lifespan of these mice by 12%. Researchers believe that astaxanthin's benefits come from its antioxidant effects and the ability to lower inflammation and support for mitochondria. They concluded that astaxanthin is considered safe and has unique qualities that allow it to work effectively within the cells, making it a potential candidate for supporting healthy aging. While these specific findings from the intervention testing program are from a mouse study, 
it's essential to consider the extensive benefits demonstrated in human studies I mentioned earlier as well. The supplement's effects are well supported by human research, underscoring its genuine potential as a beneficial health intervention. Let's talk about dosage. The recommended doses are between 2 and 24 grams per day. Most studies use more than 12 grams per day. To make astaxanthin even more absorbable into the body, you should take it with omega-3s. I personally take 12 milligrams of this brand right here, daily, BioAstin. This is an excellent brand, and it's not sponsored. This is a go-to brand for me. Let's talk about the side effects. There are presently no known side effects for astaxanthin. To sum it all up, astaxanthin is truly in a class of its own when it comes to antioxidants. Unlike other carotenoids, it doesn't turn into a pro-antioxidant under any circumstances. It protects your cells inside and out, fights inflammation, and supports everything from muscle recovery to heart health. Look, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to boost your longevity and keep your body healthy, astaxanthin is one of the best tools you can add to your daily regimen routine. Remember, while many antioxidants can be hit or miss, Astaxanthin stands out as the pure antioxidant that offers consistent, reliable benefits without any downside. If you found this video helpful, I never say this, I'm going to say it today though. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who's interested in health, wellness, and longevity. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried Astaxanthin before or are you planning to now that you know about its benefits? Drop me a comment below. And by the way, if you want more science-backed content on how to stay healthy and live longer, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.